What is up, Postal Besties? It is your girl, Creole Barbie, with USPS Vlogs. You guys, all 2024, I have been sharing information with you all on how you can elevate your career at the USPS. Not only that you can elevate your career by even joining the post office and working there as a new PSC, not only you can elevate your career, by converting into being a career employee or becoming a supervisor or a person in management. But I'm going to show you the absolute success, the icing to the cake when you become successful. And one thing we hadn't mentioned yet is honey, when you elevate your life, you also have to elevate your style. This year, I'll be sharing with you guys one of my best achievements yet that I have for my channel and that is being in partnership with Anna Luisa. Anna Luisa has some of the most beautiful fine jewelry at affordable prices such as the necklace I'm wearing on my neck. You guys this lovely necklace on my neck is called Willow. Isn't she gorgeous? Now you guys know that I love stacking my jewelry. I'm a goldie girl for sure. For sure. However, I'm going to show you where you can shop to elevate your style. Now, in my description box below, there is a link that it will refer you over to Anna Luisa where you can get 30% off on any jewelry pieces that you find. Now, you might like this willow necklace that's on my neck now, or you might enjoy this beautiful shape lev heart pendant, you guys. I absolutely love these are my two top favorites now you can actually get it in the color solid gold or you can get it in silver but one thing I will tell you this it is water resistant you don't have to worry about it tarnishing because that is never going to happen not with Anna Luisa if you want to get more acquainted with Anna Luisa and see the fine jewelry pieces that's on the website be sure to click the link attached in the description box below. In the meantime, you guys, go shop in Louisa as you elevate not only your lifestyle, but your style as well. See you soon in Louisa. What is up, Postal Besties? It is your girl, Creole Barbie here, and I'm back at it again with another video. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Creole Barbie. What I do here on my channel is I make tons of videos pertaining to USPS. I am a current clerk who works at a plant. I make tons of videos pertaining my life experiences as well as journey while working for the postal service. If you want to get more acquainted with me and find out what exactly do I do here on my channel, be sure to check out my USPS playlist where I'll give you a great deal of insight on what to expect when joining the postal service. So without further ado, please allow me to get into my video and this video will be sponsored by Anna Luisa, which is a jewelry company that I decided to partner with. And as of right now, you guys, I am loving their jewelry pieces. Literally, I've been wearing this jewelry for now going on five days. Absolutely love it. It's very beautiful. I love how it complements my neck. I love how it looks so elegant and beautiful. Now, if you guys are interested in knowing more about Anna Luisa and you want to check out Anna Luisa's website, be sure to click my description box below. When making a purchase, by clicking the code, you'll be getting a 30% discount off on any jewelry item on the website. Right now, I'm going to get into my video because I am going to talk about the time. The time, the time, the time I caught COVID at work by a co-worker you guys this is going to be a very good video so sit back relax drink your drink get some popcorn ready because this is going to be a good one so if you guys are new to my channel or you hadn't watched my prior videos this is about someone who i spoke about prior in certain videos named loco now for those of you who know loco then you guys heard all the crazy stories about loco when loco asked me if he can move in with me also asked me to buy him a 200 dollars pair of jeans Whew, it just seems like it's a never-ending story with loco so 
I was working in automation and at the time I had a partner. Now me and my partner, we pretty much have a good understanding. Like literally he was my road dog. We would get the mail done and get it out. Just so happened me and my partner was finishing up on our particular run because we would get done early. And guess who walks up? Loco. So I'm up by the feeder getting ready to run my third pass and loco walks up now loco walks up and he was looking very very bad like literally loco looked as if he did not feel well he had on a face mask and he was walking slow but as he was walking towards me i noticed his hands tell me why did loco had at home covid test in his hands so as loco's approaching me he's like Creo. Creo. And I'm like, what's up, Loco? What's going on? And he's like, man, Creo, I'm sick. I'm sick, Creo. And I'm like, well, Loco, if you're not feeling well, you need to really try to go home. At this time, y'all, we were dealing with a pandemic. I had already caught COVID in January. So at this time, I'm really taking super precautions about being around people that were sick. So I'm like, Loco, give me six feet. Six feet, Loco, okay? But what I'm gonna need you to do is go tell a supervisor. If you don't feel well, why are you over here telling me, Loco? So Loco was like, Well, I did tell a supervisor that I don't feel good and I need to go home. Okay, Loco. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go home or what? Yeah, I'm gonna go home, but I don't know if I got a cold or if I'm sick with COVID. And I was like, <laughs> Rewind that back, Loco. You said what? And he was like, yeah, I can't tell if it's my allergies, if I got a cold, or do I have COVID? And I'm like, Loco, if you think you have COVID, then you might have COVID. But if you're not feeling well, I'll just go ahead and go. So he proceeds to tell me. But I got this at home kit right here, but I don't know how to do it. Creo, can you help me take the at home COVID test kit? And I'm like, Loco, are you serious? Just read the instructions, Loco. Read the instructions and it'll help you figure out how are you supposed to administer this kit on yourself. No, oh, Creole, I'm just not going to be able to do it. I don't feel well. I can't even comprehend right now. My head is cloudy. I need you to help administer this test for me. So after going back and forth with Loco about administering this at-home COVID test that he decides to bring into the post office, so you already knew you thought you had COVID. How did you just pop up with a COVID test all of a sudden, magically appear inside of the plant? The plant wasn't passing out COVID tests at that time. So I said, all right, Loco, look, I'm finna put my gloves on. I'm gonna put my mask on <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and get this test done because I need you away from me. I decided to go ahead and have Loco open the COVID test kit. So I said, all right, Loco, now pull out the instructions and I want you to read what it says. So he like, well, it says that you take this swab and you put it in your nostril and then you hold it in your nostril for 10 seconds but make sure you twirl it around while it's in your nostril i said okay loco well it's time for you to take this mask down stick it up in your nose and go to work he like well, you can't do it for me i said loco you were asking for way too much absolutely not i am not sticking a q-tip up your nose to help you with a covid test i'm not doing that loco so loco goes and he takes it and he sticks it up his nose all right and he's twirling, he's twirling, he's twirling, he's twirling. Everybody looking. My partner is sitting at the machine. He's shaking his head, irritating. He's so irritated at that point. He just like shaking his head. <laughs> so then Loco then takes it out and sits it on top of the paper. So I said, okay, Loco, now read some more. What does it say? All right. It did says now to take this solution and you're going to squirt it onto the COVID test. I said, all right, Loco, get the squirting. So he takes it and then he squirts it onto the COVID test. Then I said, well, what's it say now, Loco? You take this Q-tip and you swirl it in a solution. So he takes the Q-tip and he swirl it in a solution. By this time, it's catching everybody's attention around us. They're like, what in the hell is going on here? What is going on? 
So <laughs> they looking and they like, I know he's not taking no at home COVID tests right now. So he got COVID, he at work. So everybody, they in a frantic. And I don't blame them because this is a time where the pandemic was bad. We started losing loved ones, like people we knew that had COVID, including myself, my grandmother. She passed away during this time. So really it was hard for a lot of people to see this that job come to work knowing he probably thought he had COVID. So he sticks it in the solution. And then it says, now wait 10 minutes, come back and you should have your results. Y'all, when he waited 10 minutes and he read those results. I got COVID. I'm positive for COVID-19. I got COVID. And I'm just looking at him and shaking my head. And I'm like, I could have kicked your bleep, bleep, bleep. I'm just cussing him out so much in my head. Like, you bleep, bleep, bleep. You bleep, bleep, blah, blah, bleep, bleep, blah, blah, bleep. I could not comprehend what just happened. Like, I knew I was hot. I saw red. And I was like, local, so you knew you had COVID the whole time. Bro, get off my machine. You got COVID. Get off my machine. So I then go get my supervisor and was like, local has COVID. I need minutes to come and disinfect this whole entire machine where he was at. Literally, I need this whole entire machine disinfected. I had just now came in contact with an individual who has COVID. So my supervisor is like, did he really just take a COVID test at the machine? And I'm like, yes. So he really brought at home COVID test to work? I'm like, yes. So he really thought he had COVID and he still came to work? And I'm like, yes. So locals walking around instead of going to go fill out 3971 and leaving, the supervisor catches up with him and tells him he has to go and don't return until you come back negative. Now, at this point, I am so upset. I'm agitated. Maintenance came over and they disinfected my entire machine. Me and my partner at this time is talking. Now I've just kept my mask on and I told my partner it would be messed up if I test positive for COVID if I caught COVID now because I was just helping this nut job right here to make sure that he was good because he needed somebody to help him take the test. So my coworker is like, that's a god d shame. Bleep, 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 bleep. He started cussing. And I love my partner because he's one of the people, he has like a zero tolerance for BS, literally. Any little thing will set him off. So he was just going so then he was like why in the bleep bleep he bring his bleep bleep behind over here <laughs> he know he probably had bleep bleep covid what it's some bleep bleep so i felt normal even though in my mind i told him i said it'll be messed up if i had covid i was like look if i get sick overnight and you don't see me come to work the next day then more than likely I got COVID. He was like, all right, bet. So I'm just thinking that everything's going to be normal. Everything's going to be good. And I don't have COVID. So at the time, y'all, I had worked two jobs. All right. I worked at the post office full time and I had a security job part time. And I'm going to show y'all the picture of me at work. Okay, y'all pay attention to this picture. All right. This picture of me right here is a picture that you're going to never forget. Oh, so, this is the night that this happened with Loco. And I was at my security job when I got off of work that morning. Y'all, I got really, really sick. I got sick when I got off of work that morning. Literally, I started feeling horrible. Like I was sweating. I had a bad headache. I felt like my nose was stopped up in my chest just did not feel right. Now, keep in mind, I already had COVID prior. So therefore I was able to key in on the symptoms. So I called my mom and I'm like, look, I think I might have COVID and I'm gonna need a at-home test kit. So she comes over, she had an own at-home test kit and I went ahead and I tested myself. This is when I found out that some of them at-home test kits do not work because I literally followed the instructions. I took the test and mine came back negative, but I still feel really, really bad. And I'm like, this that can't be right. Something has to be going on. I just feel horrible. So she ended up 
taking me to the emergency room and we're like you know what let's go to the hospital let's see what's going on just to make sure that COVID isn't really the problem here let's make sure that you don't have COVID before you come back to work because you do feel bad and you know it'll be messed up if you have COVID even though your test came back negative and you give it to somebody on the job that may have a terminal illness and it could kill them and you don't want to do that which I really did not want to do that. That would be a conscience on my heart forever. So I went ahead and I went to the hospital and I told the hospital that I had these symptoms. I told them that I came encounter with someone who tested positive for COVID at my job. So the doctor then requested for me to administer a COVID test there. I did. He said, when we get done, if you have COVID, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm going to make sure we do a rapid test so you can have the results before you get out the hospital today, before you're discharged. I'm like, okay, fine. So he tested me and then now I waited for at least 30 minutes. He comes back in and he says, Miss Creel, you have COVID. You tested positive for COVID. And I just fainted. I was just like... <sighs> You mean to tell me that I have COVID? I have COVID. He was like, yes, Miss Creole. You have COVID and you were absolutely right. You came in contact with someone who had COVID. You were exposed to COVID. And I was just at that point furious. And I'm just bleeping, 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 bleeping in my head. All right. So I remember that I had Loco's phone number because he was in the middle of looking for an apartment. Man. And I knew some people who own apartments and I was going to help him find an apartment. So I text Loco and I said, Loco, I have COVID-19 after I had helped you take your at-home test kit at work. And Loco texted me back like, oh man, Creo, oh Creo, I can't believe it. I'm sorry, Creo. I'm sorry, Creo. Oh, Creo, I can't believe that happened to you. And I'm like, yes. And I can't believe it happened to me either. And I can't believe I let you talk me into doing that at home test for you. The reason why I have COVID. Now I'm sick. <laughs> now I'm agitated. And I'm not having to go through the pains and the sufferings of having COVID all because of you, loco. So finally, my COVID symptoms resolved. I I want to say after my five days, I had to retest for COVID to make sure it was out of my system before I can come back to work. So I finally came back to work after testing negative and Lord behold, guess who I see? Loco. At this point, I didn't even want to have no conversation with Loco. I was still upset and he was just like, Creo, please. I'm sorry, Creo. I'm sorry, Creo. I didn't mean to do that to you, Creo. And I was just like, Loco, look, I accept your apology, but still give me six feet, okay? Cause I don't even know if you did your exact steps of going to go get retested before you came back. Literally, I don't want no more mix ups. I don't want no call. I don't want no sneezes. I don't want no calls from you. Nothing, Loco. All right, I, I'm accepting your apology, Loco, but I need for you to give me six feet. So, y'all, that is my crazy experience of how I caught COVID at work. If y'all like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. If you want me to do more story times, y'all, be sure to comment in the comment section below. Be sure in the description box below to click on the link Anna Louisa slash Creole Barbie to get your 30% off on any jewelry piece that you see. You guys, I'm telling you, it is fine jewelry. It does not tarnish. It is water resistant. And it's going to give you a flawless look. In 2024, we are elevating all right and as i said before you elevate your life you have to elevate your style in the meantime i love you guys as always thank you for watching my channel be sure to subscribe to my channel for future content in the meantime i am out deuces